Good evening, family. I'm telling you, this video was not supposed to be this late, so please forgive me. I recorded it this morning, but I recorded it without hitting record and didn't realize when I got ready to upload it that there was no video and then it was time for me to get out the door. So here I am. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, with part two of Where My Heart Is. Our reading for February the 21st. Our scripture lesson is from the New Testament and is titled, um, it reads, it's Hebrews 11 verse 10. It says, by faith, he, Abraham, looked forward with confidence to a city with lasting foundation whose designer and builder is God. This is from the clear word version of the Bible. Amen. Father, thank you, Lord, for seeing us through this day. Thank you, Lord, for patience. Thank you, Lord, for time. Thank you for love, grace, and mercy. Lord, continue, Father, to be our strength. We ask that you would um, remember, well, we know you haven't forgotten, forgotten, Lord, the situations that are happening, not only here in the United States, Lord, but around the world. Much chaos and calamities going on, natural disasters, Lord, wars going on, civil wars, um, international wars, all types of things going on, Lord. And Father, here we sit in the midst of them, Lord, trying to make heads and tails of not only our own personal lives and our own circumstances in our families, but also wondering what truly in the world is going on. Bless us and keep us, Abba Father, and thank you, Lord, for this time once more in this virtual space. In Jesus' name, amen. Where My Heart Is, Part 2. At the age of 12, I set out to search for God's home after discovering Bible words that changed my life. Um, and we know that all things work together for good. That's Romans 8, 28 in the New Testament. In time, I learned that Jesus was born as a baby, died as a man upon a cross, and arose from a tomb that couldn't hold him. Amen. I held questions in my mental quiver. I needed answers. A six-year search finally led me to Bible studies, suggested by my boyfriend. Before then, none of the many churches I visited ever offered me in-depth study of God's holy word. The studies led me to understand why Jesus came willingly to die for me and for every human who ever lived for that matter. Though some chose not to accept his gift, I discovered that Jesus' father is my father too, and that my yearning for a home in heaven is the Holy Spirit working on my heart. And I understood the rest of Romans 8, 20 H, which says, to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. By this time, the fellow who had told me that Bible studies would answer my questions about God had asked me to marry him. We established our marriage with a plan of home and family, not only on this earth, but also in heaven and in the earth made new. In the book, The Adventist Home, Ellen White writes, God would have our families, symbols of the family in heaven. With an eternal home in sight, I learned that home is God's idea, not only for the earthly lifetime, but also for eternity. I also learned that home means all the redeemed of the earth, the family of God, living together, worshiping God, caring for each other. For me, home is where the heart is. That statement is more than lovely words. It's a journey with Jesus. Amen. I look forward to entering the heavenly home where my heart is. Amen. Our reading today, as with yesterday, was written by Betty Kosick. Amen. Abba Father, Lord, we thank you for the sharing in here, Lord, for letting us know that there is a time and a place, Lord, that is far greater than this earth, Lord, and that is more peaceful, Father. 
Maybe, Lord, in our human minds, we may not be able to even fathom um, just literal peace and genuine joy. And in a land where there is no fighting, where there is no strife, where there is no crying, Father. Lord, I ask, dear God, that you would continue to grant us strength and grace and, Lord, faith and hope, Lord, for not only today but on tomorrow. Lord, as we search the scriptures, Lord, as the Bible verses are shared, Father, may we look them up, Father. May we Google them, Lord Jesus. May we get acquainted with the Word of God on our own. Lord, and as we study individually, and Lord, if someone is studying with the group, Father, Lord, let us pray for the presence of the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us and teach us, Father. Lord, I ask this not just for myself, Lord, for anyone who is inquiring of the Lord, wondering truly what in the world is going on. Father, continue to bless and heal our land as always. Our families, Lord, our situations, Lord, that might have our hearts in such pain and anguish right now, Lord. Father, it can be to a sudden loss. It could be maybe a medical situation that has appears to have risen out of nowhere and shook not only ourselves, but our families and our loved ones, Lord, to the core, Father. But Lord, one day, I don't know how soon, Lord, but one day you are going to take away the ills of this world. You are going to take us out of the ills of this world. Father, help us to have a heart and a mindset, Lord, to trust you, Lord. There's so much distrust in the world, Lord, but Father, help us to get a yearning for your word. And Lord, you are able to substantiate the word of God for yourself. We don't have to argue about it, Lord. We don't have to try to prove that the word of God, the Holy Bible is real. Father, if we inquire into you of ourselves, Lord, your spirit, your Holy Spirit will lead us and guide us into all truth, Father. So thank you, Lord, for this time here together as family and friends in this YouTube space. And I pray, Lord, that this prayer, this reading will be refreshed brand new every time someone reads it, Father. May it not stay the same as it is today. May it continue to bring life and hope and reassurance to all, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray and I thank you, Abba Father. Amen, amen, and amen again. Thank you, Lord. Blessing and healing to our family and our friends here in this YouTube space. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, family, for your patience today. I will make sure tomorrow that it's in the record mode. Um, the song um, for this morning that I listened to uh, was um, Child of the One True King or Hello, My Name Is. It's by Matthew West. I love the video version because the words flash up on the screen. Um, different places where we might be in our life. I'm going to show you right here. It's still up from this morning um, and I have it. Let me put it on low because if I don't, we'll get into trouble. But the song is playing and you can see uh, the words will start changing. It says, hello, my name is. And the different places that we can be. We can be in regret. We can be hopeful. And I'm sorry about that family and all of those things. So this was my joy today. I listened to it um, quite a bit today because um, um, I was, um, not that I don't know that the Lord um, is with me through the trials and tribulations that um, we all can experience from time to time. But this morning, I just needed some joy. And my prayer partner, she said to me, she said, I told her, I said, I'm going to find our song. And I was going after, you know, my favorite guy, Danny Gokey. And I was going to go and play, um, We All Need Jesus. We're all broken people. And so she said to me, she said, 
Oh, you mean our song, our, um, you know, Hello, My Name Is. And then I stopped. I said, you know what? You're absolutely right. I need something jubilant and bubbly this morning. And I tell you, the Lord just ministered to me throughout the day. And because God is no respect of person, expect him to minister to you no matter where you are. This is Miss Norma. I'm getting ready to sign off saying have a wonderful, wonderful evening of rest and blessedness. And by his grace, I will see you on tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Those of you who are new, enjoy the playlist. It's on, on YouTube Music and it's titled Songs for Devotional Reading. It's well over 200 songs on there. You can send me um, some of your favorites. Uh, it's a lot. It's it's all genres of Christian music, but you know the Holy Spirit let me know that we can share music that maybe is not necessarily Christian, but if it's a song that's going to bring you life, that's going to encourage you, and cause you to look for some place higher than where you are. Feel free to share it, family. Feel free to share it. And I will add it to the playlist because this is a playlist that I have invited um, my YouTube family and friends to participate in. So feel free to participate in it. Send the songs. You can email them to me at nh2783.utb b at gmail.com or you can leave it in the comments for me and those of you who are new i do answer my comments and um or if you know me personally you know you can send me a text or either you can call me blessing and healing to all of the family and i thank you all um have a good night and a blessed night's rest or if the nighttime is your daytime have a wonderful wonderful day in Jesus' name, family, I wish that out to all of us. And by his grace, I pray that you receive it. And Lord, I ask that you would breathe upon everyone, Lord, who listens to this, Lord, and give them a refreshing breath of your love, Father. The Bible says that um, after you have formed man of the dust of the ground, that you breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Abba, Father, breathe on us, especially if we're feeling like there's no life inside, Lord, and grant us new life from a breath of fresh life from you. Thank you, Abba, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed even, evening, family. This is Miss Norma signing off. And I just want to tell you that I do love you, and I'm so glad that you, are, you all are here. But the Lord loves you the best and the most, and he's the only one that can bring you from this place up to his place. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing, and thank you for sharing, and thank you for watching the videos to the end. Good evening, family, and have a blessed day or evening, or morning, or afternoon, wherever you are. Amen.